In this demonstration, we'll review the process of procure to pay using Dynamics 365 Business Central. To achieve this demonstration, we will walk through four steps. First, we'll create the purchase order. Then we'll email the purchase order to our vendor. Then once we receive the goods, we'll receive it and convert that to a purchase invoice and then eventually paying the invoice. Let's begin by creating a new purchase order. So I'm logged into Business Central. I happen to be by default using the Business Manager Role Center homepage. And thus, as a result, I have some key shortcuts or key actions that I can perform right from within the homepage. In this case, uh, simply adding or creating a new purchase order. Now I could type in the vendor name via keyboard, or I could use the dropdown to select Fabricam as my vendor. You'll notice that once I select the vendor over on the right hand side, I've got some key information on the information pane. And then back to the purchase order, um, I've set up uh, the default behavior so that when I select enter after selecting the vendor, I choose enter, and my personal preferences were to go directly to the item number field. Now I begin to uh, perform my task of entering those line items, but notice as I'm typing the word Sydney, which is a text field being populated into the a number column, I choose Sydney, I'll enter in a quantity of one, and let's minimize the information pane just to get a little bit more real estate. And to highlight what just happened, I accidentally typed in a Sydney description into the item number field, but Business Central knew what my intentions were and put the appropriate fields of item number and description. Now I have a few more items to add to the purchase order, so I'm gonna leverage this focus mode uh, this icon here that gives me uh, a much greater scale or more platform uh, or a wider form to enter in the items for this purchase order. Now I can manually type that into the list or I can just use the select items and then the shortcut keys on my keyboard, which I'm familiar with in most other applications, either holding down the shift key or my control key, I can go ahead and multi-select items either in a contiguous or non-contiguous uh, row and then I'll select OK. I'm done with this purchase order. I'll exit focus mode and then I've created that purchase order. Let's go ahead and email that to the vendor. So all of my open purchase orders are listed here in this live tile. At the bottom you see the most current one I created uh, that is ending in 006. I can click on the link to open that up. I'll send this out to my vendor all the defer default uh, configurations, both from an email address, the subject, and the body of the email come through based on how we set up and configured the purchase uh, sending of the purchase orders. And I can, of course, click on the attachment just to review it before I send it to the vendor. And then I'll click OK. That looks good. And next is to receive that. So, right, so the items now have arrived at our warehouse, at our dock, at our office, and after inspection, the individual who is responsible for confirming the receipt will then go ahead and release that. And we'll begin by opening up the purchase orders. Again, 1006. Notice the status is open. I'll go ahead and select post. And this again, we are just go ahead to receive that into the warehouse. Notice that status change from open to released. Next, I'll convert this to a purchase invoice. And in order to do that, again, I'm back in the purchase orders. I'll click on post. And this time we'll select invoice. And that will remove it from my open purchase orders. I'll close that out. And then the last step is to pay the invoice. To do that, again, right from the uh, home page, I've got a shortcut key under the actions to be able to uh, create a vendor payment. And with this uh, payment highlighted, again, 1006, I'll go ahead and create that payment. You can see I've got the terms set up for me for this vendor, and I'll go ahead and print that check. I have a number of different options, which I can edit the check. And then here's a preview of what it would look like on my screen. We'll go ahead and hit print. Now the vendor has a check on its way, and we'll go ahead and close this out by posting that payment. And to confirm the payment, you can also review all of the transactions associated to vendors. So from the top menu bar, I'll select on vendors, Fabricam's highlighted. And then over on the right-hand side, you'll see that I've got an outstanding balance with them. 
and you can see the most recent payment that we made uh, to that vendor. So that is the procure to pray process. Again, we began by creating a purchase order. We emailed that order to the vendor. We received the goods, we invoiced it, and then paid that invoice. Really the benefits of this demo scene was to show you how we can increase productivity and also streamline that process of procure to pay.